Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. Today I am updating you on my 2024 project pan. If this is your first video of mine that you've ever clicked on, then hi, my name is Roisin and I'm really glad that you're here. I have been working in this project all year, so I have a playlist which I shall link up in the eye for you, which has the introduction and then all the subsequent updates take you from the introduction through to now if you want to catch up from the beginning. For those of us who are all caught up from the beginning, let's get on into this update. For the most part, this is a really good update. There are a lot of products leaving, a lot of goals have been hit, but I have had one disaster. So I'm going to start off with that. And unfortunately, the disaster has happened to my Marc Jacobs blush. The goal for this within the project was to use it 100 times. At the last update, I had used it 64 times. I did not have pan. I had a very slight dip that I didn't think was even really showing on camera. And I wasn't sure if hitting pan was realistic or not, even within 100 uses. I can definitely see now that I will not be hitting pan, even when I hit the 100 uses, which I still intend to, to go for, because I smashed this. I dropped it. I also lunged forward to try and catch it. So as well as dropping it, I succeeded in kicking it. So it flew across the room and smashed into the skirting board. So it was probably even more smashed than it would have been if I had just dropped it. I dropped it and kicked it. So before I had done that, I had actually used it another eight times, which had taken it to 72 uses. I've then repressed it. And since the repress, I've used it another eight times again which actually takes me to 80 uses in total. However, this is now what it looks like. So having been repressed, obviously we are back to a very flat surface or as flat as a repressed surface if it is. So there's no dips going on. There is no way that another 20 uses is going to get me any kind of pan in this. So I am going to go for them. I'm going to get another hundred, another 20. I was going to say another 100 there. Not another 100, but I am going to get 100 total uses out of this this year. If you look at the, the before shots where it had all the lines in it, I think that possibly made the product a little bit weaker because it definitely kind of smashed along those lines. So I did try and keep the sort of gradient by keeping the darker product to this end and the lighter product here, but it's probably all a bit more mixed in than it would have been. Still enjoying it, I'm wearing it today, I've still been using it. I'm going to get my 100 uses, but we're definitely not going to see pan. There's also, I think now, no point in showing you all of the updates and then post refresh and whatever. So I will just insert the intro, the last update from before the smash, the smash, the repress and the updates going forward. With the disaster out of the way, let's talk about one of my triumphs, which is my benefit highlight. This is finished. I am so excited about this, so completely used up. This is the first powder full size highlight that I have ever finished. I have finished some of the deluxe sample size liquid highlights in the past, but never a full size powder highlight, so I am so, so pleased. I have just done the finale to my 5x Fall project pan and in that project pan I actually finished off the remnants of a lipstick that I'd had in I think at least two other project pans plus the 5x Fall to get that finished. So this year is the first year that I have actually got a lipstick in my empties even though the work was obviously done in previous years I didn't just finish it this year. And the same can now be said for this, my first ever full size powder highlight. Again. This had pan in it when it came into this project this year. It's taken me up till now to finish the remainder. Um, but I'm so, so pleased that I have done. I'm so pleased that this year my empties for my makeup collection will include a full size lipstick and a full size highlight. That just when I started project panning years ago and really got to understand how long it would take to actually finish products. The idea of hitting a goal like this just seemed miles away. I'm so pleased with this. This feels like such an achievement. Next makeup item to update you on is my lip gloss. The stopper came out of this at the last update. As you can see there is now quite a lot of windowing 
but there is still quite a lot of product coming out whenever I take it out so I'm still not sure that this is going to be finished by the end. I would like it finished so I am I am trying to be fingers crossed hopeful about that uh, but there is still quite a lot of product even now that the stopper is out so we'll see where we end up consistently using it hoping to finish it. Let's see what happens. Another product that is leaving the project that I'm very, very pleased about is my Origins Maskimizer. So this was a pre-face mask skin optimizing mist. I really just used it as a face mist this year to get it finished up. This is empty, this is done. I'm so pleased because this is actually in my face mask category on my inventory because it is for use with face masks theoretically even though we didn't actually use it up that way in the end. But that's quite a big category for me so I'm really pleased to have something be knocked out and this has also made way for me to put another facial spray into my 12 pounds of Christmas project pan which will be coming quite soon. So really glad that I finished this in time to hopefully make some good progress in that project in a sort of equivalent product to this. Something that I have made absolutely no progress on is my Beauty Pie Photopia foot cream. As you will see in my quarter three empties, I have actually just done one of my foot peels. So I did that over the past month. I didn't bother putting foot cream on the week or so before I knew I was going to do it because that seemed like a waste of time. And if you've not used the foot peels before, basically you wear it, it takes about a week for the peel to start and then it peels over another week. So it's quite a long process. So in the month in between the last update and now I haven't reached for this at all because I've been going through that process and um, but I'm not too worried I think I'll still finish this before the end of the project I just need to make sure I am really diligent about using it for the next three months but yeah I'm not too worried although I haven't reached for it at all in this month I think it'll still be out by the end of the year Another thing that is leaving the project is my Guerlain perfume. So this was Mon Guerlain by Guerlain and as you can see this is completely done. So I finished the shower gel in the last update or the update before at some point in this project and I wasn't sure if I was going to get the perfume out by this update or not but I have managed it. So really really pleased about that. Again I've now put a perfume in my 12 pants of Christmas so very pleased that this has come out in time to hopefully make some good impact on that project. The next item to update you on is my Virtue Blow Dry Balm and this is also leaving the project so this has been cut open, it is finished and I'm very very pleased this is a big category in my inventory and one that I am trying to make quite a lot of progress on. Now I did say when I put this in that I was hoping to try and finish three by the end of the year, this being the first one and I was going to put them in one after the other but I've actually decided to just add the other two in at this stage. So update one is on the virtue which is to say that that is finished. Both of these products are from my blow dry balm category but the product that is closest to the virtue in terms of replacing it is my Philip Kingsley Maximizer. So again I am weighing this and this currently weighs in at 13 grams. This is one that I would use on wet hair to help as the name would suggest maximise the volume in it as I blow dry it. So that is exactly how I was using the virtue one was on wet hair as a blow dry balm. So this is probably the sort of straight replacement for that and I would like to finish this by the end of the year. 
And the second item that I am bringing in, which is from the same category because it can be used in that same purpose on wet hair before blow drying, is from IGK and this is the Mistress Hair Hydrating Balm. However, because of the nature of this, I actually sometimes use this um, almost a bit like a hair oil if my ends need a little bit of something put into them, a little bit of hydration. I have also sometimes used this like the night before I'm going to wash my hair um, as almost like a sort of leave-in treatment. I won't be doing that because I have put a hair mask that I would use in that way into my 12 pans of Christmas project pan, which once I was thinking about putting these in, I was like, oh, that was maybe not the most kind of well thought through idea, but that's, that's, I filmed it now, we filmed the intro, I've started the products, that's what's happening. So I will not be using this as a mask, but I am aiming to still use it kind of as a midweek treatment through the ends. So I'm still hoping that I'll be able to finish this by the end of this year alongside this and the mask that's in my 12 pants of Christmas so keep your fingers crossed for me might be reaching a little bit here but hopefully we can do it so going forward we've now got my blush my lip gloss my foot cream from the original 10 products plus the two new hair products that have been added in so my project 10 pan is now a project 5 pan, two of which are new, so technically only a project 3 pan from the original 10 products, which I'm very excited about. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it and I shall see you in my next one. Bye!